Hey guys, today's video I'll be showing you a monitor optimization guide for lower input delay and smoother gaming experience. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, as I will be posting videos like this every Saturday at 1 p.m. East. But yeah. So one thing I want to preface before we go into this video is that I don't have every single monitor in the world and each monitor and each brand has its own different different settings. So the idea of this video is just for you guys to get a gist of what options you should put for each setting and the things that you would change on your monitor for a better experience. Now for those who don't know how to actually get into their monitor settings. There should be like a little button or a joystick at the back of your monitor, like for example this Samsung monitor, there's a little joystick in the back corner right here if you guys see it. We'll just have to play around and figure out how to use it to actually get into your monitor settings, but that's how you would get into it. Alright now, once you're in your monitor settings, it should look something like this. This is a picture of my monitor, I have an MSI monitor, but what you want to do is basically just for options that apply filters to your PC, for example, night vision and game mode, you would want to just use the default setting or turn them off. So for game mode right here, I have it set on user. And for night vision, I have it on off. For response time, a lot of gaming monitors have this. You want to send it to the fastest option available. So for me, it's just fastest. For adaptive sync, you might have different, different types of syncs like G-Sync, Free Sync, Adaptive Sync. You want to turn those off you don't want to be using those same with mprt you don't want to be using those types of things for image enhancement you would want to turn it off pro mode that's a type of filter you would want to use the default or just select off for low blue light you would preferably have this off but if you have some type of problem with your eyes like me then you would have to turn this on if you have to but Preferably if you don't have any problem, then you would want to keep it off. Same thing with HDCR and MPRT, you want to have those off. The last thing or these types of settings like brightness, contrast, you want to leave those on default. Sharpness, you want to turn that all the way to zero, as long as it doesn't look completely ugly on your screen, then it's fine. And same thing with color temperature, you want to turn that like, to the default setting or normal, you don't want to be switching that around. This is the settings of an Asus monitor that my friend has. One thing I just want to mention because I forgot to is that you want to be using your display port preferably. You don't want to be using an HDMI. If your monitor and PC could use a display port, then use it. It's just way better than HDMI. But for Asus, the overclocking tab right here, you want to turn it on and click max refresh rate and set that. Variable overdrive. Any type of overdrive, no matter what monitor, you want to turn that to max. Adaptive sync, remember you want to turn it off, you don't want any type of sync. Shadow boost, that's kind of like, well not necessarily a filter, but a type of thing that alters the original image, you want to turn that off. Yeah, adaptive sync off is right here. ELMB, ELMB sync, this is another type of sync, you want to turn that off. Vivid Pixel, you want to turn it to zero. Brightness Contrast, you want to preferably just keep those on default. Blue Light Filter as well, you want to turn that off preferably. If you have some type of eye problem, like I said, I, I have one of those problems, then you would want to keep it on. It's not that end in the world. Eco Mode, you want to turn off. This is basically of like a type of power saving. If you have this, you want to make sure you turn it off. And sound, if you don't use monitor sound, then you want to turn mute on and set your volume to low. There's no point in using the monitor sound if you have a headset or something. And lastly, these are just some settings I found on some other monitors. For an Alienware, they have something called preset modes, just keep it on standard, game enhanced mode. This is the type of thing where I think it matches the refresh rate to the amount of frames you have, you want to turn that off. Response time, you want to set that to the fastest. I don't know if fast is the fastest for Alienware, but you want to set the fastest setting. Dark stabilizer, any type of stabilizer like this, you want to turn that off. And same thing with variable black light, you want to turn that off. This is another type of monitor, which is on settings, brightness, contrast, you want to turn that to like whatever it is originally, default. Black boost, you want to turn that to zero. Blue light off, unless you have some type of problem, it's completely fine. ACM off, HDR, 
personal preference, super sharpness, any type of thing like this you want to turn out off, and max brightness, personal preference as well. And don't come at me for this picture, it's not mine, but <laughs> if you just make it out right here, this is overdrive right here, you would want to turn that to its max setting, adaptive sync off, no clue what this is, some variable blacklight probably, you want to keep that off. Ultra low latency if you're a monitor has a setting like this, make sure you want to set it to like on or to like lowest latency setting possible. And that's really it. If you enjoyed this quick simple video and want to see more like this, then make sure to like and subscribe and check out my past videos as well. If you have any suggestions on the type of content I should make, feel free to join my Discord server which will be linked in the description below. And just write in the chat what type of video you want to see, I always read it. But yeah, see you in the next one.